What is up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a bit of a bonus video. I wasn't gonna film today because this week is between Christmas and New Year's and I wanted to just spend some time with family. But we got some news that Victoria Beckham Beauty is gonna raise her prices, which totally understandable in my opinion because the cost of just living has already been going up. So I can imagine that all of these companies, their costs are going up as well and therefore they have to up the prices. We've seen this from so many brands. The switch is gonna happen on the 6th of January, but there is a code SAVE15 for 15% off until the end of this year, so 31st of December 2022, that you can still use to get the products that maybe you were eyeing at the older price. And therefore, I did decide to do this video because I did buy for Black Friday a final few items <laughs> um, that I wanted to talk about in a review of just the mini haul of Victoria Beckham Beauty. So let's first talk about the first product that I got. I got this one. This is the Cell Rejuvenating Primer. I believe it's a moisturizer and primer in one. There are two shades available. There's the original shade, which has no pigment, and there's this one, which has golden pigment. This product has been in and out of my cart a few times, and finally I decided to do, like make the plunge. Right now, 90 euros for 50 milliliters that weight i believe i got it for i want to say 70 euros this is an interesting product it's formulated in collaboration or by Augustinus Bader, which is a brand or maybe a person. I don't really know much about it. All I know is it's very expensive to get skincare from Augustinus Bader and it has a following. Like people seem to love their skincare items. So this is definitely a skincare primer in one. I did already film this video of this look. So you can see some footage of the video of me applying it and it looks very nice. It does have a little bit of a dry down, so it doesn't have a sticky dry down. It, it feels like my skin. I did moisturize underneath and put sunscreen on underneath and that really helps this product look super beautiful. The way it's described for you to use it is to use one or two pumps all over the face and all over your decollete area to get that beautiful glowy skin look and you can go out the door like this. It's an incredibly expensive primer. I don't know what the price is gonna be after um, the price increase, and all you need to know is it looks really beautiful. It has a glass bottle. It has that typical like horn slash turtle shell packaging that we love and it feels incredibly luxe. It does have a six month shelf life, so the shelf life is insanely short, and it has a lot of competitors in my opinion. Even in my demo, you see me compare it to the Super Goop Glow Screen, which is also this golden shift one, the Vive Skin Nova, which is a gel-like consistency, but also has a golden glow, and even Charlotte Tilbury has a golden primer, which is the Wonder Glow. All of these, I feel, are competitors to this one. You have to believe into the skincare benefits fits to justify the pricing when it comes to this primer. So if you like Augustinus Bader, if you like the brand aesthetic of Victoria Beckham Beauty, then I would recommend this primer to you. I have it in my collection because I'm a bit of an enthusiast when it comes to the brands and I do review the brand a lot on my channel. So I feel like it justifies me to get this at some point in time and that's why it's been in and out of my cart. Then the next product that I wanted to talk about and that I apply is this bronzer and this bronzing brick I have mine in the shade 02 so the medium one is featured a lot on my channel and it's probably the best bronzer that I have in my collection I would highly recommend you to get this it feels luxe so it feels like old Hollywood glam luxe because this is glass it has a really nice mirror there are two shades in the brick in itself so uh, when summer starts hitting then I'll kind of like use the middle portion of this bronzer <laughs> uh, and if I hit pan or it's just time for this bronzer to go um, I can actually take this out and then just buy the refill also I know a lot of people have questions regarding this clasp that's right here I've never had issues with it I know the first bash had some issues with it I never did I just really like the way that this bronzer looks. It's very skin-like. It's probably the most dependable bronzer that I have in my collection. And I would highly recommend you to look into the bronzer. Out of everything, I actually think the bronzing bricks are one of the ones that I would definitely recommend you to look into, especially if there's gonna be a price increase. It's not a cheap bronzer, but I definitely feel like it's worth the money. I then went into my Cheeky Posh Sticks. I have two of them. I have the shades Fever, which I did a dedicated video on. This is a great summer shade, and the shade Playground, which is my everyday go-to shade. I have a video where I do the best five products or the top products of Victoria Beckham Beauty 
please watch that if you want to know a little bit more about uh, why I like these so much but the shade playground is definitely like a terracotta nude shade and just amazing for every single day and I would definitely recommend these I really like the aesthetic of these they look like a little bit bigger than the lipstick cases so these are the Victoria Beckham Beauty lipsticks um, they're very travel friendly they feel very luxe they have that typical packaging that we adore from the brand so all together it looks really nice and right in front of me I have everything <laughs> But altogether, it looks like a really beautiful collection. I would really recommend the Cheeky Posh sticks. Now on to the highlighting product. There's only one highlighter. It's a stick highlighter and I'm not really into this stick highlighter phenomenon. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> So I know that a lot of you guys like these stick highlighters, especially these um, pearl ones because they look incredibly natural on the face. As you can tell, it gives you a little bit more shine, a little bit of extra glow, but personally I'm not really big into it and this is the reason why. So besides the fact that the packaging is a little bit different, I actually do really like the packaging by the way, but I have to warm this product up to kind of liquefy it, in, in, I usually do it in my palm. Then you can either take a brush or you can take your finger and just use it on the high points of your face uh, to me it's kind of dirty to do it this way but it's the best way I see of applying it because if you apply it directly from the bullet you do disrupt the makeup underneath at least in my experience if you like highlighting sticks it's not a bad formulation I do like the glow that it gives it's just not for my skin type nor for my makeup preferences so I personally wouldn't recommend it especially now that it's going to increase in price <laughs> so those were complexion all done so I do want to talk a little bit about lips next one of the newer items that I got in this mini haul is the Bitten Lip Tint. This is the only lip product that I still didn't use and I got mine in the shade Amour and I'm wearing mine with the lip definer by Victoria Beckham Beauty in O2. The lip definer I quite like. I specifically like the color and I like that you can sharpen it and it kind of just works as an old school sharpening pencil. Nothing too amazing about it. It's not my favorite formulation. It's long lasting. It's just not the one that I would recommend. Then we have the Bitten Lip Tints. Now, like I said, this is the first time of me trying it. I wanted to try a nice neutral color so I decided to go with a more which has a lot of brown tones in it. Now what I like about the lip tint is the applicator. The applicator is super nice. Also the packaging has, again, it's glass, it feels luxe, it's beautiful. The applicator has a nice little point to it and it's very intuitive. It's really easy to coat your lips with it. In terms of a tint, it does give a proper tint to the lips and it's kind of my lips but better. Where I kind of feel like this product falls flat is it's quite drying to the lips and it does then sort of settle into my lip lines so I feel like it accentuates my lip lines. So what I did is I went over it with a gloss. The gloss formulation I absolutely love. I have multiple videos on them so check out the videos if you want to see the glosses just all demoed but I went into tan line on top of it and what I like about this combination of the three products is this lip will stay on for quite a bit of time so the glosses I would recommend I wouldn't recommend the bitten lip tints I also have one posh lipstick I have mine in shade spice I love this shade it's very similar to tan line in the sense that it's a nude uh, brown <laughs> and I like how this applies the nourishment that this gives to the lips is very minimal so uh, about 20 minutes in the pigment is gone I don't feel any nourishment and I personally prefer Shantikai over this one or the Dior uh, addict formulation I like those uh, over the posh lipsticks but I know that a lot of you guys like these posh lipsticks because they're so pigmented um, my one gripe with it is you have to reapply and reapply um, it's not a bad formulation by any means I just I again I don't want to think about it too much when I apply my makeup and that is why I don't often recommend the lipsticks again the lipsticks do come in that really beautiful bullet they're very easy to use you just twist them up they feel hydrating when you put them on and they're not drying to the lips at all. They're kind of just like pretty lip balms. <laughs> then lastly, let's go into eyes and they have a lot of eye products in the range. The one that I wanted to demo was the Smoky Quartz Jewel Satin Eye Kajal. 
<laughs> that one has never been featured on my channel before and that is what I did so I wanted to do sort of a spotlight eye of some kind so you see me demo it on the sides of my eye and actually in terms of jewel liner I quite like the color of this one it's quite a, a muted color but for daytime it's just really stunning I did have to use a primer with these because they're incredibly emollient so there are a few different formulations you have the mattes you have the metallics and you have the jewel liners you also have the brightening pencil which I didn't use in my video today but I also have in my collection and personally I like the mattes the best and the metallics I think the metallic formulation is really great you see me applying copper in the middle jewel liners is sort of a hit and miss for me golden lame is incredibly dry for me the jewel liners are also not waterline safe so don't put it in the waterline the metallic and the matte ones are waterline safe so I put the cocoa shade which is my favorite brown tone shade in my water waterline at the bottom and the one that is quite finicky to work with is the shade fig which is a matte it's a purple shade and that one is probably the least well performing matte shade out of the bunch but they're very versatile I like to use these as sort of like eyeshadow bases or just as eyeshadows as a whole but use a primer with this one maybe a powder and the jewel liners they have glitter in there but not as crazy as the lid lusters surprise surprise i do have all of the lid lusters and the ones that i demoed in this video are mink and starlight i know that some of you guys were interested in seeing the comparison between the seneca gel liner jewel liner and smoky quartz compared to mink now mink has a lot of tones in it if you spread out mink all over the lid it actually looks like there's multiple shades on your eyelids which is such a beautiful eye it's very pigmented it is quite dark on my skin tone i feel so it gives for a very beautiful smoky look but personally it's a little bit too dark for me on a day-to-day -day basis um, but I think the shade is very unique and very beautiful. So I did mink on the sides of my eyes and in the middle, on top of the metallic copper liner, I decided to put starlight, which is a true gold. I thought maybe the combination of the both would look, I don't know, cool. I thought chiffon, which is the one I usually use for looks like this. Chiffon is just a really easy champagne toned that color that I feel like everybody needs to have. <laughs> It's just a really easy one to slap on. I feel like chiffon is the one that's most gritty. So the most uh, glittery pigments kind of textured uh, compared to some of the other ones. These do have a bit of texture to them, but if you blend them out, the texture kind of goes away. Um, I would not use this with a brush. I would definitely use finger applications when you're using the Lit Lusters. Um, that way you also don't have any fallout. At least I don't. I never have fallout even though I'm going in with mink and starlight. I don't I don't see any fallout on me right now. But chiffon, tea rose, and honey are probably my favorite shades. It's hard to tell because my favorite shades do switch out a lot. I do want to highlight velvet which is the latest Lit Luster that they have. This is sort of a golden antique green shift one. This lid luster is beautiful for like party season, but also for every day. It's, it's just a really beautiful shade. <laughs> then quickly, let's talk about the eye breaks, the smoky eye breaks. I have four of them. Uh, you guys know that the smoky eye break in Tweed is not my favorite one. And I actually took today <laughs> to scrape up the hard pan on my purple shade in the hopes that maybe I can use... I can use it uh, like any other normal person is using theirs. For this demo though, I decided to go into my favorite one, which is the Signature Palette. Now these are expensive. They look like the bronzer packaging, but then smaller. They're about the same size as a business card, for example. These are four sort of matte shades, but if you look up close, there is some glitter pigment in there. You don't see those glitter particles uh, once they're on the eye. But I feel like I should mention that because it does give for a little bit extra dimension. This one in a Signature is just a really great palette to have for every single day. If you're just a girl on the go, city girl, whatever, uh, office girl, office boy, you know, you don't have to be a girl to use this. But if you're just someone that like likes very simple looks and you don't need to wear a lot of shimmer, I actually think that this Signature palette is a yas for me. The other ones I like a lot. I like the formulation, but Tuxedo is not a color story that I go for a lot 
it's very unique in my collection but it's more for a cool tone smoky eye and i do like the shimmer formulation so there's only one that's full blown shimmers this one is called silk and i like this one for the summertime it gives for a very bright eye i did a dedicated review on all of these so check out my dedicated review if you want to see that but for this video the signature palette is the one i would recommend if you're looking into the palettes at all i think i talked about everything I'm not really sure. Oh, maybe the mascara. So I do have the Future Lash Mascara right here. I personally don't want to open this right now. I have... I have a few videos where I use my older one, but I finished mine completely. I do really like the mascara. It gives for a very natural look. It has a really nice brush because it's very thin, so you can really get into the lash line, very close to the lash line. It's a really nice tubing mascara and no smudging with the tubing mascara. Really easy to take off. It gives for a very natural look. So compared to, for example, my Tower 28 one, which is the one that I have open right now, this one is a little bit more impressive. Gives for longer lashes, a little bit more volume, a little bit more va va voom. If you're going for a more natural look, that's when I would say get this one. Also, the bottle of this is glass. The aesthetics of this brand is totally what I would love to aspire to. So I want that old Hollywood luxury glam. <laughs> it's kind of like what I'm feeling the vibe of of this. There's a lot of good here, guys, and I don't want them to decrease their quality or the formulation. I like that they're a cruelty free brand everything is dermatologist tested they are a clean beauty brand so check out the website if you want to know a little bit more about what clean means to the brand i love this brand and i will be featuring more of this brand in 2023 i love uh, nearly everything of the lineup i think the only ones that i would not recommend so soon is the tweed palette the bitten lip tint uh, and the highlighter stick are the ones that i'm kind of like those weren't my top recommendations and don't feel rushed to buy all the products sales will come back but there is going to be a price increase so if you were already eyeing something i know it feels a little bit rushed but i would kind of think about getting the products right now because it might be cheaper for you that way and again use code save 15 at checkout if you want to get that extra 15 percent off i don't want to promote consumerism if you are sticking to your guns or you're on a low buy or no buy then don't feel the need to get out of your low buy or no buy and uh, this video is only for those that just want to see that final review everything of the brand a little bit of a yes and no yes or pass and i want to thank you guys all for supporting me with these videos a lot of you guys have found me through victoria at Beckham Beauty and I'm still very supportive of the brands. I understand that like the prices are going up and I understand the reason why that is. Please check out some of my other videos if you want to get a little bit more of an in-depth experience from me. Also, I'm going to link everything down below. It is going to be affiliated. All the things are going to be affiliated down below. Don't feel pressured to use my affiliates, but it, they are going to help me so much with my channel and my future purchases, <laughs> especially of this brand. Like I said, 2023, I am going to be featuring Victoria Beckham Beauty. Give this a like, subscribe to my channel. Victoria Beckham Beauty is a brand that you'd like to follow with me. Comment down below if you have any questions or just want to nerd out about makeup with me uh, i'll try to answer them as soon as possible because i know that these are already pricey items so the fact that like the prices are going up they're going to be even more pricey and that is a little intimidating i know and i want to be helpful with this i really want to get through the process of you making the right purchasing decisions for you anyway i want to thank you guys all so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next year bye